name is Matthew Nock. I'm a clinical psychologist, and my research is focused primarily on trying to understand why people do things to purposely harm themselves. And so we focus most specifically on suicide and um, other forms of self-injury. And essentially, we're trying to understand why people do things to hurt themselves, how we can better uh, detect and predict these behaviors, and ultimately what we can do to prevent them. I just want to check in on where things are at with, uh, with the different projects that we're working on. Um, studying suicide and better understanding it is so important because this is uh, an enormous problem for us as a society, yet it's something we don't really talk about, people don't really study. She wants to look at the data, not just for our self-injury episodes, but for subjects over time. I think she wants to look it doesn't have the funding that it should relative to um, how many people die and how many years of life are due to suicide. More people die by suicide than by violence around the world each year, uh, more than twice as many People in the U.S. die by suicide each year than HIV AIDS related illness. More people die by suicide than by homicide. It's the 10th leading cause of death, of all death in our society, the third leading cause of death among children and adolescents. Lots of people are losing their children, their family members, their loved ones to suicide. And for understandable reasons, we don't talk a lot about it. Um, but as a result, we don't know a lot about it. And so we can't do anything about it. One line of our research is using recently developed computer-based tasks to measure how people think about suicide. And so we can present someone with a five-minute um, computer-based task and use how quickly they respond to, say, suicide-related words relative to other words to capture um, the extent to which they're thinking about suicide. And this is so important because what we've done as clinicians and as a society is rely on people's own report of whether they want to hurt themselves or kill themselves, and people are naturally motivated to deny or conceal thoughts of suicide and violence and drug use. And so we're at a point now um, in psychological science where we have the tools, the objective tools, to measure um, thoughts about suicide and other forms of psychopathology in a, in a more objective, more, in sci more scientific way. Just as in uh, medicine, we can use blood tests or x-rays um, to understand what's going on in a person's body. Now we, we're at a point where we have the tools to objectively measure what's going on in a person's mind. In our future work, we're really looking forward to um, taking some of what we've learned and um, trying to take it out of the laboratory to uh, apply it out in the real world and see if we can um, use some of our early findings to get better at, at predicting who's at risk for suicide and ultimately creating interventions um, so we can decrease suicidal and self-injurious behavior. I think receiving the MacArthur Fellowship will uh, certainly help our research program uh, and it will allow us to um, do creative work, uh, work that maybe is, is not uh, the type to be funded by traditional funding mechanisms, things that are off the path a little bit, try and develop some of our um, riskier ideas to see if we can really get better at identifying um, who's at risk for suicide and developing really innovative treatments to try and uh, prevent this problem.